Hi guys. Okay, the truth, they met my bride here. Um, I was auditioning for Samantha. Catherine has given us work. But you know, mwanaume ni kujipanga. So as I was auditioning the models, I also decided to do an audition for myself. Eight years down the line, she's still my wife. She's here recording me right now, Catherine. Let's give her a big round of applause. When the male models were walking, uh, I noticed something. The girls or the ladies were getting excited, starting with these ones. That we have. Let me tell you something. There's one thing I tell a bride. You cannot invite people to your wedding and they are waiting for you. Imagine you're inviting people to your own house. And then they come, they sit, they are waiting for you. This is what, I'm going to give you what we did for our wedding and then you decide whether it's something you need to follow. We decided we'll plan our own wedding and we involved the people that we knew we will just hand over on eve of the day. Then we chose to get married on a Monday. You can imagine getting married on a Monday. There was a reason for that. Uh, it was October 21st. And we told the person, uh, we want you to come on site by 10, uh, by 9.30, because they were starting at 10. By 8.15, Kate was already at the venue. I had already arrived at the venue by 7. So the Pasi calls the Rosemary Romanjo, I don't know whether she's here, who was now handling wedding for us, and asked, these guys arrived, and he was, these guys arrived actually one and a half hours ago. At exactly 10, we hit the catwalk. At exactly 11, the wedding was over. At exactly 11.01, we were on our way to Wilson Airport to take pictures, and we told guys we'll be back at the venue at exactly 2. At one o'clock, we are back at the venue, but nobody knew because this is what we did. Eat before you go to your reception. Eat before you go to your reception. Because I can tell you for free, nobody will allow you to eat. They will call you. They will make you stand. They will make you dance. They will make you carry some, some, some things, those ones. They will dress you in some shukas at the expense of your hunger. Be selfish. Go somewhere, the wedding planner that is organizing your wedding, tell them something, I need a place, we can sneak in, eat. Then once you've eaten and you're full, now you check in like you've just arrived. And, okay, and you're looking excited. That time you're actually chilling somewhere at the backstage, actually even watching them. You can get a screen like, streaming the wedding to you. So you're just watching, actually knowing who you invited and who didn't turn up. Who adhered to the dress code? Who didn't? Who brought that guy? You and your friends have been hunting to get him to propose to her. You see, you are seeing all that things happening. You understand? Then, at exactly 1.59, because we are told guys we'll be back at the venue at 2, we were in. And we are told guys we will finish the wedding at 4. At 3.59, I was giving a vote of thanks. At 4 sharp. Why? Because we decided... If you keep time, everybody will be happy. Then this is what we did. After we have finished our wedding, we were able to take pictures with everyone. And because I come from LD, the bride comes from this side of Macha, then my guys for LD were able to arrive in time. By 7.30, they were already home in LD. This story of us waiting for you at the venue until 5, and you're supposed to arrive at 2, is determined by two people. You, the guys that are getting married. Nobody else. If your bridal party decides, and I'm talking to the brides, if your bridal party decides to be late, do what Kate did. Walk to the car and tell the car, let's go to the venue. Let me tell you, they will follow you running with their shoes, the makeup being done here, and that needs to be done. So I'm not here to tell you nice things. Do it. It's your day. You have already briefed guys. Guys don't want to arrive on time. Have a a backup car. So that should this guy you're telling we go doesn't want to listen to you, sneak into that car and go to the venue. I know it sounds very radical, but guess what, guys, why should you be late on the most important day of your life? And why should somebody make you late? Samantha is a beautiful place to be. Why? Because this is the committee. All the guys exhibiting here, you do not need another committee. You just need one who is network with everybody, and they will be able to do your wedding the way you want it. 
Involving a committee is very good in contributing the cash. Not to plan. Okay? And this is why I'm saying this. You cannot wake up one day and decide going to be Dr. Kirwa because you think you can be. That is how we feel when you decide you want to take over the planning of the wedding that you have never done. There is a reason why companies outsource their events to event companies. Otherwise, they will save the money and pay themselves bonuses by deciding the HR department will do it. The thing HR department does is to call a company that is specialized, give them a brief, and tell them, listen up, we want this to go like this, go put up a proposal, and then come and do it. It's the same. There is no difference between a wedding and an event. To us, it's an event. You are coming to get married in the event which you call a wedding. Okay? That's it. And let me tell you, there is no event that is more important than your own wedding. There is no event that is more stressful than your own wedding. And I'm saying as a guy who understands events backwards, to date, my own wedding was stress. Guess what? Because you're dealing with 99% emotions, 1% event. Balancing your guest list. My story. You know you have that list of people you're saying, Simon Kabu of Bonfire, that one, I have to take the card to. Catherine Matsitsa, I have to take the card to. You know there are so, some of those people you decide you will take. Let me tell you, I discovered those cards in the car as we were heading to the honeymoon. It took two years for those guys to forgive me because they decided Kira didn't invite me to his wedding. Guess what? I thought I can be everything. You cannot. So, hand over yourself. Jipeane. Wase wame kamapo wame kaizi stand zote juyako mazi. Okay, translated because I can see some of you wondering what I'm saying. Let's agree for these guys who put up all these stands here to be able to assist you. Style, uniqueness, and the flow of your wedding is not about money. It's about you. It's about your creativity and making it yours. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you.